price. Hiya. How cheap are you? What? Jenny needs a cleaner. Uh, since when? It was my treat. Every time I stop over, I'm always having to clean up after you. Uh, no, Nikhil, you don't have to. That's why I keep telling you not to bother. He thinks I'm a slob. Uh, slob's a bit of an exaggeration. Yeah, thank you. Hey, I'm trying to do something nice. He rearranges my cupboards. I have absolutely no idea where my plates live now. On the left, next to the saucers. What would you say to five quid an hour? Have you heard of minimum wage? Uh, sorry. Boyfriends, eh? What? I wouldn't know. Come on. Just... No, it's not. Stop embarrassing me. That's why I... So, when are you next round at Ashley's? Yeah, this morning, why? Sandy was in yesterday. How was he? I don't know. We... He stopped all day, but he only had a couple of pints. Because he didn't want to go up. We can't assume that. I'm telling you, something's not right. <laughs> Why don't you take the day off? No, I'm fine. You've only had two hours sleep. I'm very sorry. But it's not your fault. Actually, it is. Ashley, these things happen. It's fine. Right, I best go. OK. Mwah. She has a very forgiving nature. Too forgiving. Do you ever think of anyone but yourself? Ashley, I have apologised. What more can I do? You can stop getting blind drunk every day. I You've had a couple of pints. Ask just... You need to start behaving responsibly. I am sick of you constantly judging me. Don't shout at me. I want my keys back. That's not going to happen. I'm your father. I don't need your permission. Yes, to go you do. Out. This is my home. You're here under sufferance. I should be perfectly happy to go out and leave the front door unlocked. I strongly advise you not to do that. What a... So, how is Adam doing? He volunteered to go and fetch the feed. Oh, well, that's a good sign. Well, I won't go that far. I can see his point, though. I'd be miffed if my dad would have got someone in over my head. He would never have needed to, would he? Oh, excuse me. Yes. Hi. You busy? Yeah, when aren't we? <laughs> Sorry, come in. Thanks. I'll get back outside. Cheers, Andy. I won't be long. <clears throat> uh, I've been thinking about our offer. Oh, about buying this place? Renting the fields. Oh, I take it Adam told you that I've spoken to him? Yeah, and no, we're not interested. What is it with you people? It's way above the market price. Is it? Didn't Adam tell you that? I'm also prepared to throw in a six-month payment holiday on the loan. It's not good business to refuse a lucrative deal like this. How lucrative? Bitter. I told mm. Nikhil the mix was wrong. Maybe we could just pass it off as a new flavour. Super dark. <laughs> Have you tried it? Oh, it's... <laughs> We've been summoned. Eh? By Megan. Lunchtime, drinks and nibbles. You and Nicola are also invited. <sighs> really? Yeah. More the merrier, apparently. Ooh, count me in. Well, excluding riffraff, obviously. No, I'm far too busy. Tough, I've already said yes. Why? Why do you think? They have got big plans up there. What plans? Just pack the toffees, will you? I know Megan. She doesn't just invite people around for lunch without an ulterior motive. Good. Because if I can get in with her, she may take me on. And what do you want the job for? What else am I supposed to do? Who knows? We might have kids. How likely is that? Well, it's not impossible. Honestly, you don't want to get involved with her. We're going. Live with it. Are you Ed Roberts? Yeah, it's oh. me. So, do you two know each other? Oh, I've seen them from afar. My brothers are really big fans. What, what are you doing around here? Just seen a mate. Hmm. So... Oh, yeah, right. Oh, wait till I tell my brothers I've seen you. All right. You all right? Back again. I haven't been home yet. You've been... All right. Nice one. I'll grow up, buddy. 
Yeah, hey, do you need to see me? Uh, right, late dinner in the pub then. Uh, see what I can do. All right, see you in a bit, guys. Are you definitely going to sign for that team in France? Seems bitter. Quite like it. Oh, no, not with him to keep you happy. <laughs> with him? They're saying it could be serious. What? How? He's moving to France. Make him a better offer. Paddy, I'm not you. Just because I like someone doesn't mean I'm going to set up a house and nick another man's baby. <laughs> <laughs> well, if you're that keen, why would you let him slip away? I need to get back to work. See ya. So? Help yourself to sandwiches. Mm. Some of us have already started. I'm hungry. So where's Megan? That's a good question. You know I've cancelled a lesson for this. Yep, I know. Wasn't my idea. Ah, she calls the shots now, does she? Hi. Sorry I'm late. Ladies prerogative. Oh, I'm no lady. Me mm. neither. Yeah, I'd heard the rumours. Do I get one of those? Bottles over there. Are you going to stand for that? No, oh, she's just being playful. Hiya. Yeah. Um, is Brenda about? Oh, I'm afraid not. Good. I'm on the scrounge for some baps. Half a dozen. If you've got them, I will replace them tomorrow. Or you could just pay for them. Can't be daft. I'm not paying cafe prices, am I? I'll see what I can do. Hiya. Oh. Oh, yeah. You all right? Yeah, of course. Mm -hmm. You want to join us? Sandy was in the pub yesterday. I know, yeah. All afternoon. Seemed... A bit out of sorts. Blind drunk? No, he wasn't. More, um... More troubled, really. I think he's, um... Rachel reckons... Oh, Rachel? What's she got to do with it? She's been a bit concerned. About what? <laughs> what? Tell me. She thinks... Maybe Ashley's not been looking after him properly. <sighs> what? Apparently she's seen things. That is things. ridiculous. Ashley loves his dad, so do I. Yeah, nobody's saying you don't. If Sandy was upset, we'd be the first to know, not our cleaner. I shouldn't have said anything. No. I'm... No. I'm sorry. Baps. Oh, right. Sorry. I told Rachel to stay out of it. Has she mentioned this to you as well? <sighs> a, a toast to old friends. And their assorted partners, of course. I well, see so you haven't brought a bloke with you, Megan. No man will have me, I'm afraid. Not even Carl. <laughs> it's not really that fussy. Oh, come on, Katie, don't be spiteful. Oh, Declan's always had a soft spot for temperamental little girls. Do you know what? I've actually got better things to do with my time. Katie. Do you have to wind her up? Well, she started it. Anyway, we don't need her here if we're discussing business. I thought this was just a casual get-together. When have I ever been casual? Shall I make some notes? No. We've got nothing to discuss. Come on, Declan, don't be greedy. Yeah, greedy about what? The festival. We're not looking for investors. No, I know we're not. But these are our friends. We can afford to offer them a piece of the action. Really? Yeah. We're talking food franchises, corporate entertainment, VIP camping, sponsorship. This is a big opportunity for the right person. A word? Not happy with you, is he? Give us a few minutes. <laughs> See, I told you, Megan doesn't do free lunches. Maybe this is good. No. Yes. No. She is offering you the chance to make some money. <laughs> <laughs> Part with it, more like. What the hell do you think you're playing at? I'm trying to save the project. We can't afford to do this on our own. I can borrow from the bank. Have you seen your bank statement? We need a cash injection. Look, there are two options. Either we take on a rich investor, who'll try and screw us over, or we get our mates on board. I'm not sure about that. Jay and Nicola aren't going to make us beg. Truth is, they might not want much in return. What was the first thing you taught me about business? Always take the fastest route to profit. There you go. Your philosophy, not mine. Not unless you think we can run a festival with two tents and a burger van. OK, let's see. 
Look, the thing about Rachel is, is that she's a worry gus. I mean, she's got an heart of gold, but she has got an habit of... Sticking her nose in where it's not wanted? Trying to help people with the problems. Oh, right. There's a problem now, is there? Of course not! What's wrong? Uh, well, you're never gonna guess what this lot have been saying behind our backs. Hey, it's Rachel you've got the beef with, not us. Okay, Rachel's got in her head... <sighs> ..that you're abusing your dad. What? That is not what Marlon said. Marlon? Yeah, well, Marlon was just in here. She's been gossiping to him. Now you're just taking things too far. Well, how would you feel if somebody accused you of, of mistreating Sean? Oh, we mistreat him all the time. Not now, love. Sorry. Look, we're best be getting back. Yeah, yeah, yeah I'll catch you. Right. Why would Rachel say things like that? I don't know. How would we give her a job and this is how she repays us? I'm not going to have it. What are you doing? I'm going to have it out with her. No, don't, don't, no, don't sit I'm, down. No, listen, I'm not going to have her dragging your name through mud. I'll speak to her. I'm sure it's just a misunderstanding. <sighs> OK, OK. Don't let her wriggle out of this one. Oh, don't worry, I won't. You want a cup of tea? Look, I'm sorry, OK? I shouldn't have sounded off the other day. From now on, I'll mind my own business. About time. I hate falling out. So do I. Well, then. Mates again? Well, I suppose it isn't everyone who offers to make me a cup of tea and a tea sandwich. Who mentioned a sandwich? Those are my terms. Mm. Hi. How's it going? Fine. No complaints? Anything you want to talk to me about? No, do you Only, uh, Marlon's been spreading rumours. Do you know anything about that? I... I might have said something to him. Said what exactly? Sounds like you already know. I'd rather hear it from you than second-hand. You see, I love my dad. He loves me, so uh, I'm a bit confused by all this. It's just... Sometimes I don't think you treat Sandy properly. I see. Why don't we ask him? Dad... Would you say I've been mistreating you? Of course not. Can be truthful, I won't mind. Everything's fine. Really. You must have got the wrong idea. I see. Sorry. You're sorry? You go around the village accusing me of... Goodness knows what. And you're sorry. I want you out of my house. You're sacking me. What did you expect? I haven't been gossiping. You told Marlon that was bad enough. Now get out before I throw you out. Uh, that was harsh. I don't want you talking to her again. Megan came round this morning. Why didn't you tell me about her offer? Yeah, but I did. But you didn't tell me how generous it was. Does it really matter? We're accepting money off that lot anyway. Well, I've already said yes. What? what are you talking about? You can't do that. Oh, yes, I can. This is my farm. I get to make the big decisions around here, not you. Oh, really? Because I'm sorry, I got the impression your contribution was just lying in bed feeling sorry for yourself. I had just lost your dad. Yeah, and I hadn't. And for a while, I couldn't go. And yes, I was relying on you. But you should have told me what she was prepared to pay. I was just doing what was best. No, you were being petty. We are not turning down good money for a couple of fields that we could easily do without. Dad would never have let him near our land. Your dad's gone. 
Now, I know that is hard to accept. But we have to move on. Well, I think I'll go across to the cafe. No. Aren't I even allowed a cup of tea? You know where the kettle is. Hi. Hi. How'd you get on? Shouldn't you be at work? Yeah, uh, Jay and Nikhil are out for lunch, so I'm on a biscuit run. You right, Sandy? <laughs> no worse than usual. <laughs> um, did you manage to speak to Rachel? It's all sorted out. She won't be bothering us again. He sacked her. It was more a mutual parting of the ways. Well, I don't blame you, after what she did. Besides, why spend good money on a cleaner when we can keep it within the family? No one cleans a bathroom as thoroughly as you do. <laughs> yeah, years of practice. Right, well, I best get back before those boozy boys return from lunch. Um, Sandy, if there was anything troubling you, you would tell us, wouldn't you? Good. Good. See you later. Yeah. I thought you were putting the kettle on. Same again, lads? No, thank you. I've got a sick cow waiting for me. No way to speak to you, missus. You try saying that to Rona's face, if you dare. Chas is dead excited, by the way. You are? About your new fella. Oh, not you and all. He's really fit. Too fit for our harem. You are? He stood you up, mate. Yeah, that or he's coming here and seen you two crowding around me like a couple of soppy girlfriends and decided to do one. Yeah, whatever. Anyway, shouldn't you be at work? I thought you wanted me to take you to the physio. No, I think I can manage, thank you very much. Are you going to physio? Look, it's no big deal. Are you still here? All right. <laughs> I'm sure he's got a good excuse for not turning up. Hey, Ed, are you still going on about it? Hi. It's just too good a chance to miss. I can't believe you're in love with Megan. She thinks you're a slapper. No one's <laughs> going to argue with that. Whatever happened to you staying out my face? Just ignore him. I'll have a beer and a vodka tonic. Yeah. Please, there. Right. Hey, it's just playful banter. You can't tell me you're not tempted to invest. I haven't read the small print yet, have I? Well, fine. I'll handle that side of things. It's our way in, OK? Don't blow it. <laughs> Mutual parting of the ways. <laughs> what? If Floral could have seen the way you shouted at that poor girl. Ooh. Is that a threat? Relax, I shan't tell her anything. I'm sorry, you, you think you're doing me a favour? You're my son. I love you despite what you may think. When have I ever needed your love? Why are you being like this? Isn't it obvious? If anyone's to blame for having to let Rachel go, it's you. You sit there like you're some kind of grand patriarch. You're not. You're an old man who can't tie his own shoelaces. I won't be spoken to like this. I let you live here as an act of kindness. Kindness! Don't start taking it for granted. You're not on today, are you? No. Here, I'll get that. Why? Just to thank you. After what you did for Holly. How's she doing? Good, yeah. Cheers. Thanks for that. He wrecks our lives and you're buying him a drink now. Don't start. Are you laughing at? I tell you what, next time I'll leave your druggy sister to choke to death, shall I? Sorry, what did you just say? I told you, go and wait in the car. Listen to your mummy. Don't push me. <laughs> All right, tough man, yeah. I mean it. Behave yourself. This is a joke. What would Dad say, eh? I'll be two minutes. Go on. I think I just touched a nerve. <laughs> Don't push it, Kane. Yeah. You need a drink. Oh, no, I better not. Still lots to do. Andy can cope for an hour or two. Yeah, Adam can't. I want to get him home as soon as possible. Probably wise. The thing is, I hate doing this to you, Diane. I think I need to give you my notice. Doing the odd shift here, it's a nice break for you. I, I, I can't afford breaks. You see what happens as soon as my back's turned for a second? Just waiting for Hannah to go off the rails next. That's not going to happen. She's a good kid. Uh, well, that's my point. They're kids, and they need me. More than ever now that John's gone. 
it's not going to be easy for you. I don't expect it to be. But I've got to keep this family together. Whatever it takes. Rachel, wait. Now what? I feel I may have been a bit harsh with you. You mean sacking me for no reason? My dad and I, we fall out from time to time. What families don't? I guess. All the same, I was wrong to overreact like that. And, uh... Look, um, I want you to take this. It's, um, it's what we owe you. Um, plus an extra week in lieu of notice. You think you can bribe me? That's not what I'm doing. I don't want your money. You've earned it, please. No, Dad. No. No matter what you think you've seen, my dad's fine. He told you that himself, didn't he? Maybe. There you go, then. We've all got enough problems without inventing new ones, right? Our one-off documentary, Return to the Falklands, takes an emotional look at the human side of war and also the captivating beauty of the islands as well. That's tonight at nine. Or off to the New Forest in search of more culinary delights in Countrywise Kitchen next.